You mentioned that you left to go to the East Coast mm -hmm. back home for a little while. Yeah. So what elements have allowed you to endure living in LA the 13 years mm -hmm. so that you've been here? Is it, it, a lot of people we know, they can either, it seems like it's either or, they can either endure here a very long time or they find out that it's, it's pretty tough mm -hmm. and they go back home. Mm -hmm. What elements have allowed you to do that? It's been tough because my family is a very tight-knit, close Italian family, big family. And my bestest girlfriends in the world are girls that I've been friends with since I was 12, and they all, they're all on the East Coast. So it hasn't been family and friends, you know, it hasn't been... And I don't want to say that they haven't supported it, because they do, and they love me, and so their love keeps me going, but if any of them had their say in the matter, I would have packed up years ago, you know? So there's always that, like when you come from a close family, well, I guess, you know, in my situation, where I know in their heart of hearts, they want me to be happy, but they would much rather me be happy, you know, an hour away from them than three days. Um, God, what has kept me going down here? Karen, I don't know. Um, you know, it's, oh gosh, it's like, Every so often, there's something that happens, and I'm trying to think of something that happened recently um, that would be one of those moments, and I can't quite think of one that would be a great example of it. Um, I can think of a, a semi-example, but um, there's things that happen out here that wouldn't happen anywhere else. And you have that those moments. Here's, okay, here's a funny one. Here's a funny one, sort of. Yoga class last night, going back to yoga class, it was the summer solstice. And, um, and Russell Brand is, is in class, and Russell just recently met the Dalai Lama, and he was invited to actually introduce the Dalai Lama on stage to a group of youth in England. Um, because of all the riots that happened last year, they're very concerned about the youth of England, and the Dalai Lama went to speak, and they wanted a cool, hip, awesome host that the kids would get, Russell Brand. So um, he's in yoga class last night, and our teacher called him up on the front, in the front of the class to talk a little bit about his experience with the Dalai Lama. And uh, you know, and after class I went over, I gave Russell a big hug, and uh, we chatted for a minute, and I, you know, I thanked him for sharing his story. And then you walk out and you're like, yeah, that wouldn't happen anywhere but LA, you know? Like, there's like little moments of sparks. Um, you know, the cupcake pinup photo shoot I mentioned that all of us girls just did. I got to like get dressed up and be a pinup model and you know, I'm on my way home, but I kept all my hair and makeup on and it's just like, there's moments like that, that you're like, yeah, I don't have any work this week, but hey, I just got to be a pinup model. Um, or here's a good one, Comic-Con coming up. Um, it's something we haven't touched on. I, um, I just got invited to speak on my very first panel at San Diego Comic-Con. And um, I was joking with a girlfriend of mine the other day of like, you know, a letter home kind of thing, like, dear mom and dad, yes, I don't have a regular job and I don't have a lot of income coming in and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm speaking on a panel at Comic-Con. <laughs> That's really cool. You know, like. Absolutely. <laughs> It's funny, um, but yeah, it's, it's very exciting. It's um, Katrina Hill, uh, actionchickflick.com. Um, actually, she's writing over at geeknation.com now, formed it. Uh, but she's going to be on the panel with us, and Bonnie Burton um, from Special Effects Magazine, formerly of Lucasfilm's editor over there, she's our moderator. And um, it's called The Dangerous Women of Comic-Con which is like an awesome title that I, I'm guessing if that's all Kat, um, that Katrina came up with that. And so basically they're just showcasing, I think there's six or seven of us, some girls I know, some girls I don't know, some girls I've heard of, some girls I haven't, um, who are what Katrina considers the movers and shakers in this industry right now and you know, who you should watch out for. I'm debating on whether or not I should bring my fangs with me. But how I'm are you preparing? Sorry, how are you? <laughs> I don't know. 